Having a peaceful mindset is very beneficial in so many different ways, just to name a couple of things. As a mom, it's very beneficial when you have young children because it teaches you how to raise them in a good environment. And what makes the environment good? Because you are calm. You're able to have more patience than an average person. And not only that, it helps you to have a balanced mood. You won't have these different mood swings. And it also helps with depression. Having a peaceful mindset is beneficial. If you are a wife, you're going to be content. You're not going to always look at someone else and wanting or desiring what they have. Having a peaceful mindset is very beneficial when you have to face something difficult in your life. Chaos can be all around you and it won't affect you like it would the average person in. and it's only because you have found peace. And the peace that I'm talking about, it doesn't come from no one but God. Be mindful. Be mindful is when you live in the present and you try to pay attention and enjoy that present moment in your life. Just acknowledging your feelings. We all have days in our life to where we may not feel positive and that's normal. So it's just good to pay attention to your feelings and you deal with them the right way. So I have learned whenever I'm going through a difficult season, just to know that it's not going to last always and just learn to take one day at a time and believe that it's going to get better soon. And it's something about once you start doing that, it helps your faith to build. You start imagining more about your future and how the way that you want it to be and believing that it's going to be like that. And just know that you're not going to feel the way that you do always. One of the best things that you can do when you are going through a typical season in your life and you may be feeling sad is to try to hang around someone that makes you laugh. One thing I love about my husband is that he's very silly. It's like he just create things as he talk and he's just good at making you laugh. I'm more of a serious type, but I have learned to laugh sometimes and just act silly with him. It actually boosts your mood. Spend time alone and observe your thoughts. Sometimes it's good to spend some time alone and just focus on yourself. Think about your life and maybe some areas in your life that you want to change. It's good to just evaluate yourself. Think about the person that you are and the person that you desire to be. Enjoy your hobbies and favorite pastimes. One thing that you want to start doing if you don't do daily is to make sure that you're doing something that makes you happy. It can be anything, just as long as it's something good. For example, I love music. I listen to different songs according to what mood I want to be in. So if it's time for me to pray and I need to get in the spirit or in the mood to pray, I listen to certain praise and worship songs. Certain songs that I listen to, it just calls me to want to worship and cry out to God. So it helps me to prepare myself and spend time with God. So the main thing is that you want to make sure that you're doing something daily that makes you feel good. Accept yourself, appreciate who you are and who you have become. If you don't feel positive about yourself, it's going to be hard to have a peace of mind because you don't feel good within. Accept yourself by learning to love yourself, to know that you are important. And the way that you treat and think about yourself is important. It also has a lot to do with the way you feel. Letting go was a game changer for me. I had a bad habit of thinking about my past and wishing that I could go back and change some things. And of course, you know, it's impossible to do that. So I had to learn to let go and to control the things in my life that I can. And one thing that I have learned and have helped me a whole lot is that I can control my outcome by just controlling my behavior and making better decisions about my present so that I can have a better future in the long run. So things like that is very important and it helps you just to feel more positive about your future. Be aware of your behavior. It's very important to be aware of your behavior because sometimes you can be in a situation and you don't like the outcome. So it's easier to blame the situation on someone else because it just makes you feel better. 
but it's good to be aware of your behavior, how the way that you act, how the way that you respond in different situations. It's good to be aware of your behavior when it comes to being a parent. A lot of times when you have young children and it's normal for them every so often to have a bad day and when they have a bad day, they may respond in a negative way. And as a parent, it may get on your nerve and you may holler at your child because of their behavior, but not thinking about how the way that you are responding to your child because two negatives don't make it right and it's not going to have a good outcome. So it's good as a parent to always be aware of your behavior with your child, how the way you talk to your child, how the way you treat your child, that you want to make sure that you are showing your child love on a regular basis. As a wife, you want to watch your behavior just to make sure that you are showing good deeds towards your spouse. You're not argumentative, that you're not one of those ones that like to nag and just complain, are always focused on something that you won't, that, that you don't have. Even of just the way that you think within yourself, because when you're not thinking right within, then the negative behavior is going to come out. So being mindful is just more than focusing on the moment and have a lot with you and your behavior and why you keep experiencing the same negative outcome. Help someone else. The more you help someone else, the better you will become. A long time ago when Oprah Winfrey had her talk show, so she was talking about how that life becomes so much better when you give back and help someone else. I didn't really understand what she was talking about then, but I understand now. The more you help someone, the more purposeful you're going to feel. So you want to make sure that every so often to help someone else. And sometimes helping someone else is smiling, giving a compliment, saying a encouraging word. I can honestly say that in my life now, I am happy. And I know the reason why that I am happy now more than before is because I'm doing all that I can to help someone else. And I have learned that helping someone else frees and it also delivers you. If you are having difficulties of experiencing God's peace and you just need help in that area, book a consultation with me. I would love to help you. If you like my message, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload about how to have a calm, peaceful mindset. Bye.